Hey, what's up guys? John here. And recently I took a trip to the amazing country of Taiwan. Home to about 23 million people, Taiwan is located north of the Philippines and south of the China Sea. Right off the bat, I just have to say, Taiwan was easily one of the friendliest destinations that I've ever traveled to. Generally speaking, all of the people there were just so friendly and welcoming. I didn't know a whole lot about this country before going, but it definitely surpassed my expectations. So in this video, I'm going to show you the top 10 things you need to experience in Taiwan. Side note, I visited the capital city of Taipei and also Taichung. So while the next video is going to focus on Taiwan as a whole, this video is going to be focused on just Taipei. Also, I don't speak Mandarin, so if I don't pronounce all of the things correctly, forgive me. Kicking off our list at number 10 is Liberty Square, also known as Freedom Square or the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Square. It's a big gathering place in the city of Taipei, and it's also home to three major historical landmarks. The National Theater, the National Concert Hall, and the National Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. Monuments to the military leader and former president of the Republic of China. Here you can witness the changing of the guards every hour on the hour starting at 9 a.m. Fun fact, the roof of this building is the shape of an octagon. Many people believe this to be an intentional design choice because in Asia, the number 8 typically represents abundance and good fortune. One tip I'll give here, which also applies to a lot of other places in Taiwan, is to get there very early. This photo right here looks like it was taken in the middle of the afternoon. That's 6.30 in the morning. It gets bright very early there, and if you're someone that likes to go out and take photos when there's no one else around, make sure you go places very early in the morning. Number 9. Stay in a capsule hotel. Capsule hotels are a concept that originated in Japan. You sleep in these really cool, futuristic looking sleep pods. They look like they're something out of Star Wars or Black Mirror. I stayed at three different capsule hotels while I was there. One of them did have a Star Wars theme, and another one had the really cute bear theme. They're not just a really cool and unique experience, but they're also a very economical way to travel, with prices generally ranging from about $15 to $50 a night. Number 8. Go to a night market. Night markets are a great way to pass the time shopping. Here you'll find great deals and bargains, there's carnival games for kids, but my absolute favorite thing about the night markets was all the incredible food. Healthy food, fried foods, barbecue, desserts. If you want to eat lots of different kinds of food but not pay a ton of money, this is where you go. My absolute favorite food at the night market was what I lovingly call blowtorch beef. I spent a few nights at two different night markets. One was the Ningxia night market and the other was Xilin night market, which is the biggest one in all of Taipei. I would go back to Taiwan just to go to the night markets and eat all that food again. The next item on our list is a very colorful location and makes for an amazing backdrop for your photos. Taipei Cinema Park. It's located across from a big theater in the area of Ximending, and here you'll see a bunch of streets completely covered with amazing street art. Now I'm not sure how often they repaint the walls, but I know that the street art doesn't stay there for super long. It does get updated and repainted, so it gives you a sense of urgency to go and enjoy what's there, or to go and see what's new. In this area, you'll see a lot of photo shoots going on, people skateboarding. It's just a great area to hang out, walk around, and see the work of really talented local artists. So after you've eaten all that good food, a great place to work it off is number 6 on our list, the Elephant Mountain Hike. Now this isn't a hiking trail, it's actually 600 steps all the way to the top, and here you'll get amazing views of the city of Taipei. 
They say it generally takes people about 20 to 30 minutes to do, so it's not a crazy hike. But it is steep, it is tiring, and if you're anything like me, you will get very sweaty. I've only just come up a couple sets of stairs, and I'm already tired. I don't know why I chose jeans to do this. If you're gonna do this, don't wear jeans. These stairs really don't look steep at all, but I can promise you, they are quite steep. Much steeper than they look. Whew. Get there early in the morning, take water with you, and if you want to get nice photos, you might want to think about doing what I did. I brought a different t-shirt with me because I knew I was going to sweat through the one I was wearing, and I wanted to get nice photos at the lookout. When you get to the top, you'll see a workout area, and you can celebrate by doing some pull-ups. So I finished the hike, and now I'm headed to the next item on our list. Taipei 101. Taipei 101 is the city's most iconic landmark. It has 101 floors and until 2010, it held the title for the tallest building in the world. The building houses the world's fastest elevator which can climb 89 floors in just 37 seconds. Here you can take an incredible bird's eye view of Taipei and even grab a snack while you do it. Now I read that the 101 floors represents going above and beyond perfection. Where 100% is usually used to signify being perfect or giving something your all, 101 is going above that. Another great place to see bird's eye views of Taiwan is number 4 on our list, the Maokong Gondola. This allows you to take a ride over the Mao Kong region. You can take in the scenery and also opt for a glass bottom cabin. The wait for the glass bottom cabins is a little bit longer, but again, if you get there early in the morning, there's a lot less people, and it's definitely worth the wait. At the end of the gondola ride, it drops you off at number three on our list, which is the Taipei Zoo. I will admit, I do have kind of mixed feelings towards zoos. I'm not opposed to zoos in general. As long as the animals are taken care of, they're not exploited, and they have everything that they need. At this zoo, you'll see all kinds of different exotic animals. There were a lot of school groups there, and I had a lot of teachers and students running up to me asking me to take photos. I guess because they don't typically see a lot of people who look like me. Everyone was super friendly, and even the people who didn't really speak English knew how to say hello and welcome to Taiwan. The next item on our list Longshen Temple. Originally built by settlers from three different countries in 1738, this temple has either been partially or completely destroyed many times by fires and earthquakes, but the locals always continue to rebuild. It was a little strange for me going here because it is an active spiritual and religious center, but it's also a tourist destination. So there are people who were there praying, meditating, and giving food offerings to the gods, but then there were also people that were just taking photos for Instagram. A few people said this was a Buddhist temple, some people said it was a Taoist temple, but then I was reading online that although most temples in Taiwan are dedicated to one deity or one religion, this one's a mixture of Buddhist, Taoist, and Confucian faiths. Number 2 Karaoke. This was easily one of my favorite memories during the trip. I made a few new friends during my stay, and one night I met this really cool girl, we went out to the night market, and then we randomly decided to just go do karaoke at 1am. Karaoke is a big thing in Taiwan, and they have these places where you go that have private karaoke rooms. You get a bunch of your friends all together, you have drinks, and you just sing your heart out for the whole night. 
We actually ended up staying up all night doing karaoke until like 5 in the morning. And it was just one of those really cool experiences where you don't really have a plan, but you go out and you end up having the best night ever. And finally, number one on our list, the thing you definitely need to experience, the food. Taiwan is a food lover's paradise and it's known for its world-class food. With staples like hot pot, street food, beef noodle soup, each meal doesn't feel like just eating, it feels like more of an experience. So guys, there it is. But remember, this is just in Taipei. There's so many other incredible, amazing places in the country that I didn't get to visit. There's a lot of places that I'm gonna visit next time I go, cause I am going back. And in the next video, I'm gonna be giving tips on what to know before you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you did, and I'll see you very soon with another new adventure.